This is a video about the Zoom demand and now Focus demand uh, that I've set up, both relatively on a budget. So the Zoom demand is very much on a budget and then the Focus demand is just quite a bit cheaper than a um, specific broadcast lens focus demand. So this is the Zoom demand. It comes in many brands, so I don't really um, care about that one. But basically this Zoom demand is cabled up to the lens. And then under here, there is an eight pin port that it goes into. The, um, the genuine Zoom demands have a locking collar on the actual plug um, so they can't come out. So it's got a rocker for wide and then telly. Nice granular control as well. So you can do very slow and max out the speed of your lens's servo zoom. This one, because it is um, sort of brand agnostic, it also has a F and C switch here, F for Fujinon, C for Canon. So you're just choosing Fujinon or Canon on this switch, depending on which lens you have, which brand. It clamps onto the tripod pan handle. And yeah, it's pretty comfortable to just rock back and forth to zoom as you want. It is very plasticky, so if you're in a hard use environment or rentals or something like that, um, you would probably be better off getting an actual genuine uh, Canon or Fujinon zoom demand. They are much more expensive, but they're built a lot better and are a lot more comfortable to use. But for about $100, this one is perfectly serviceable if you're an owner operator and you're just doing uh, live stuff where you need a zoom demand every once in a while. Over here, we have the focus demand that I have uh, adapted. So this is the wheel of a, I believe it's a PD movie, uh, follow focus for cinema lenses. And it's wireless and very small. And it comes with this clamp. So this is not like the PD movie one with the LiDAR, this is um, the generation before they went LiDAR, I think. But yeah, it's nicely damped, gives you relatively good focus control, and it comes with this uh, clamp that fits on a lot of tripod pan handles as well. So that's good, that comes in the kit. And if we go up to where that is connected to the lens, we've got the other half of it here wirelessly connected, and it is um, got a 0.8 pitch gear here and I have 3D printed a clamp on 0.8 pitch gear for this lens that I've just slipped over the focus ring and clamped in place with a long M3 bolt and that works great. It was a very simple 3D print to print off that 0.8 pitch gear. The lenses do have these gears for broadcast lenses, but these are not a standard 0.8 pitch gear. For Canon, they're most likely 0.5, and for Fujinon, they can be 0.3 or 0.5, depending on the lens, the age of you know the model. Um, so Fujinon's a bit more complicated. You'll have to just test a um, yeah, do a test to see. But yeah, Canon is um, 0.5 module pitch gears if you did happen to have a 0.5 module pitch gear for um, your wireless follow focus and this follow focus isn't the you know only one you can use you could use sort of any wireless follow focus that you can attach to your pan handle and basically if I had both hands free left hand would be on here thumb on here and right hand would be on the zoom demand. And then I'd just, you know, be moving the tripod around to get my shots and standing behind. I probably wouldn't have the screen up here. I'd have it at the back of the camera and probably use something like my, you know, 
502 ultra bright, uh, 502 bright monitor here at the back of the camera. But just for example purposes here. There we go. And yeah. You need uh, two pan handles, obviously. Most tripods only come with one pan handle, so I bought a second one from Benro. The other thing I've found that you really need when doing this is you need a very solid 15 millimeter rod or, or you know, a very solid rod base uh, because if you're doing really fast movements with a the follow focus, these have quite a bit of torque um, and because the le you usually attach the um, focus demand to the lens so the torque would just be on the lens and not like flexing anything whereas because this one is mounted to the 15 millimeter rods uh, it's sort of pushing against the lens and pushing it away you need really rock solid uh, rod support to be able to do this without um, when you move without it flexing the lens away from the uh, focus gear so um, yeah this is plenty rigid as you can see there's no pushing away from it and they're very fast lens moves but yeah that's basically it that's how I've set up my FS7 for live stuff um, I wouldn't necessarily use the YJ lens that I have here for live just because it's not my best lens it just happened to be the one that wasn't in use and that I was sort of happy to do some testing with focus demand that's relatively affordable zoom demand relatively affordable on a relatively affordable broadcast package for you know back of hall long lens sort of work uh, for speeches and stage performances and that sort of thing i know a lot of people were wanting an affordable option for a focus demand um, and sort of the focus and zoom demand packages from Canon and Fujinon, in, at least in Australia, are you know well over a thousand dollars, maybe more like fifteen hundred Australian dollars. So yeah, this is definitely um, an affordable one. I think a hundred, and then I did this for two fifty second hand, but I think they're about five hundred brand new, so six hundred all up compared to the equivalent in Australia for a name brand um canon basic one would be fifteen hundred dollars uh so you know a third of the price thereabouts or if you can get uh something like this second hand or already have a wireless follow focus then you can do it even cheaper so yeah that is basically what i wanted to say um so i could get that information out to you so it's not just you know stuck bouncing around in my head um, so other people can use it so hopefully you enjoyed the video and got some information about how i'm using budget focus and um, zoom demands that are much cheaper than um, the you know main brand counterparts uh, so yeah if you enjoy the video hit like it just helps get the video out to more people uh, and they might be able to use this information too Otherwise, if you want to see more videos, I do these very sporadically and I'm trying to do sort of this more uh, show and tell style video as it's a bit easier to produce uh, and quicker to produce. Uh, so if you want to see more videos, including the more polished ver videos, uh, hit subscribe and maybe consider hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button as I do these relatively, you know, maybe once a week once a month it, it, it all depends on how much time i have so if you hit the bell you'll get notified when the next video comes out uh, instead of you know missing it or whatever otherwise if you've got any questions uh, drop a comment down below and i'll answer all the questions i'm really good at answering all the questions um, i really want to help people get the right information so um, yeah any questions drop them below otherwise i'll see you in the next video